I know that uh, right now in our mind we are going through uh, a lot of information. We have heard about collaborative learning. We uh, talk about collaborative classrooms. We also talk about uh, blended learning strategies with Blackboard. Now, I know many of us are right now thinking, what are some of the potential challenges that I'm going to be facing? Uh, I'm not just here to listen to some people sharing and then go back and that's it. But I want to try. Then, now what? How, how, can I, uh, how can I apply what I've learned today? How can I pull in uh, the learning strategies? Or how can I use equipment and blackboard here? I know that uh, we are all right now bubbling with some excitement inside now how. Uh, I want to encourage you to continue this fellowship here. Now, uh, as much as yes, it's true that we are all individually um, teaching or lecturing the students or providing tutorial, uh, we are also a big family here whereby we can learn and continuously be sharing one another. So I want to encourage you to share, continue to share with one another your experiences uh, or even to dialogue with one another, especially those that you were in the same cluster or grouping with, uh, with regards to how you are applying what you have learned, or how, how can you uh, further push the affordances of the classroom or the skills that you have. Um, at this moment, I'm just wondering, would there be any feedback that you have for us right now, uh, whether it is something that you have taken away from the sessions, or it could be some challenges that you may have in mind already right now that you feel that you need to let it out before it overwhelm you. Are there anyone who would like to uh, just uh, say a word or two? Is there anything that you have taken away or you are excited about? I, I see, yeah. Are there any uh, currently on are there videos of some of our own staff members conducting this blended learning? Okay. <laughs> I mean, we love to attend their classes, but the classes are all gone already. But in the video, we can see that we get encouragement from there. The YouTube channel. We, we do have a YouTube channel set up by CEL, and we have various uh, sharings on the YouTube channels. Uh, besides that, I think what we can do is, uh, from now on, invite us to come and do some shoots, and so that we can also begin to package your material uh, for sharing purposes. But definitely, later on, I will show you where you can go to to, to grab more information and more videos. Um, of course, we also do have um, the Blended Learning Series website, which you can go to, and there are many of us here in CEL whom you can always write to us, and we can come over to dialogue with you. Yeah. Uh, to just add a little bit to what Chang Lik asked, uh, the video that we were showing you earlier on is the so called model of the classroom. But towards the end of the video, uh, we also feature Shanti you know, in quick snippets of what she actually does in class. We actually recorded her class session you know, to show the, like, the three or four main phases of using the collaborative classroom. You know? um, yeah. So we have a lot of other videos also. Some of them focus on blended, some of them do not. Uh, last year, I shared uh, how you can blend a uh, lecture. Yeah? So uh, we do have a whole host of videos there. They are all in playlists. Yeah? You just have to look for something that has got to do with Blender. Yeah? And it will be there. Yeah? And I think if we have time at the end, you can uh, yeah. show the videos and yes. exactly where to go. Yeah. Because we have a hundred plus. How many videos do you have now? <laughs> More than a hundred. Uh, it, it's a, it's a bit hard to find. <laughs> yeah, but we try to organize it for you so it's easier to find. Yeah. Okay? Any other feedback or challenges or comments? Yes? Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay, now, like what uh, Dr. Shanti has mentioned, it's very important that we begin to shift our mindset. It's not just about the tools and the equipment here, neither is it about just Blackboard. It is really repackaging our lessons to make it uh, collaborative in nature. The activities planning is very important. So it's really pedagogy before technology. You really need to look at your whole content, uh, the package, uh, looking at the activities that you have, and then uh, rework some of the configurations so that you can become a facilitator in a collaborative classroom rather than just a lecturer to your student. All right. <coughs> Um, partner with us in CEL, like what I have mentioned, uh, in blended learning uh, in collaborative classroom kind of project, if you need us to come in to, to work with you, whether is it in instructional strategies or technologies, uh, we'll be more than glad to do that. Uh, we also provide consultations uh, for you. 
Um, besides that, we have our ETs, our educational technologists, who are able to help you, to assist you and advise you with regards to your setup. Fari is waving his hand, he's dying for projects. Uh, <laughs> and of course, other collaborations and partnership, right? Uh, for those of you, especially if you are not from NIE and you find that it's difficult to reach out, you can actually follow us on our Facebook. You can also follow us on our Twitter. Uh, we post periodically uh, uh, in interesting findings about all the various technologies. Uh, our various teams actually do posting on Facebook every day. Uh, we also have uh, our ambassador who champion weekly uh, some form of tweeting and, and information on Twitter channel. So do follow us. Uh, if, if you like me a lot, you can also follow me. 